Alright, so I just got a webcam today so that I can record videos and stuff and um, from my PC. So uh, this is the Microsoft Live, uh, yeah, Microsoft Life Cam VX2000. And um, this will be an unboxing and um, a demo of how it takes videos. So I already took out like all that like plastic wrapping. Well, this little sticker here annoying so um we'll just go ahead and pull out the box and now we can chuck this aside uh, we'll look at it first so um let's see you can do like facial expressions and it's compatible with windows 7 which is pretty good um let's see it compares a bunch of other stuff so uh compared to the live cam vx 5000 the only thing that's different is noise cancellation, um, which I won't need because I have a headset microphone, and world-class optics, which uh, I guess just for enhanced picture, but I don't know, it's fine for me. Um, so it's compatible with Skype, Windows Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, and AOL Instant Messenger. I'm pretty sure it's compatible with other things like... Anything else like Ustream would probably work. Um, yeah, I think it would work. So um, I'll just throw that aside. Now, um, I don't think it's really complicated here. That's crazy wrapping. Alright, so uh, where does this come apart? So that comes off, I guess. And now, I have a feeling, yeah, that comes out. Then, something like that. Uh, Alright, so the camera is hidden behind here. We'll just take out the camera. That comes with the USB cable, which is kind of lengthy too so it can run it around the back of your computer instructions and then camera all right so then you have the throw that aside and the manual so it's in a bunch of different languages um the software life cam 3.0 which i just downloaded mine off the internet so I can get the most updated uh, program guide, and that's pretty much it. So I'll show you how it actually functions and what the software is like later. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can get and well turn off low light compensation in Microsoft LifeCam. So uh, you open up the application, and then to the left you'll have the video. Um, you'll just go ahead and hit this little uh, arrow bar. That'll open up all the effects you can do. So you can turn on these and turn them off and stuff. But we're going to go over to settings up at the top. Then we're going to hit properties. Then we're going to go over to camera control. And then here you can change a bunch of color options. So in camera control, this should be checked. You're going to want to go ahead and uncheck, uncheck that and hit apply. Um, now when you hit OK, the frames per second will go up dramatically. So... Uh, that's it. Alright, so here's the quality of the Microsoft LifeCam VX2000. Uh, as you can see, it is a little bit pixelated, but it's pretty good for a $30 webcam. Um, I definitely recommend it for making videos and things. Um, uh, first, let's start by saying that I'm using this microphone, and in the Microsoft LifeCam application, there is no option to select another microphone source. So I am using this program. I'm not using LifeCam right now. I'm using this thing called Debut Video Capture Software. Um, it's a really good program. It's absolutely free. And you can do things like record from um, a microphone and select different encoder options, which is great. Um, Let's see what I can show you with this. Uh, I have my iPod right here. Let's see how good the quality is. 
you can see uh, there is the webcam. I can slide to unlock it, and there we are on our home screen. Uh, it doesn't look so bad. Uh, yeah, we'll just close out of that. Um, there's a little text on the back. Let's see if it can focus on that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, now you can add video effects like a wig or something or like some mask uh, within Microsoft Live Cam. And right now I'm getting 30 frames. With this thing called low light compensation on, you drop down to around 15 frames, which is pretty bad if you ask me. So I turn that off, and what I do is I have a background camera right behind this camera. Um, it's just a regular fluorescent light bulb, um, and that works pretty well. If I were to have my window open right now, it would uh, look a little bit more like real, but... I don't know, it, this is great for um, filming in the night or something. So, that's about it. Um, if you like uh, our videos, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.